Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to check out Spice and Wolf Merchant Meets the Wise Wolf. It's an anime adaptation of the light novel by Isuna Hasekura. And the series was first announced in February 25th, 2022 as part of the novel's 15th anniversary. And for those who don't know, this series was previously adapted back in 2008. So this one's basically a remake, it's just think of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And believe it or not, I was really excited for this one as I saw the original series back in high school and I was disappointed that it had no conclusion. And just like every Spice and Wolf fan, I was super excited to hear about this remake coming up because I've been waiting a long ass time for this one. Wanna know how long? It's been 84 years. So without further ado, let's check it out. So the series starts with a mother and daughter talking about some stories. A huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. And so we meet our protag of the series, Kraft Lawrence, who is a traveling merchant who goes from town to town with his horse cart and with whatever waivers comes his way. He stops by at a village who are celebrating their harvest and their quote unquote goddess, Holo. Yeah, unfortunately, the village doesn't believe it because the church will crusade their asses if they believe in a quote unquote pagan god. So Lauren stops by to meet an old friend, but he's too busy celebrating the festival. So he's off on his own until one night he has an unexpected story. <gasps> yeah, not gonna lie, I would react the same way if I saw a woman in my car. And so we meet the goddess herself, Holo, who was tasked to tend the harvest in this village. But since the village no longer believes in her, and the villagers are having no problems with their harvest, she has nothing else to do. However, Lawrence doesn't believe that she is a goddess, and Lawrence wants some proof. If I saw somebody like that, I would believe them in a second. And to show proof that she is a god, and she shows him her quote-unquote real form. Shit just went from zero to one hundred real fucking quick. And just like that, she disappears, and Lawrence, having none of that shit, goes back to the village. And he finds out Holo is there with him. Yeah, just chilling because he has a bunch of wheat with him. Next morning, they both leave the village and begin their beautiful friendship. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And that was the first episode, and so far I am liking it. The animation's like a huge improvement over the original. Also, they added more stuff about the village and the relationship with Holo. But I'm not gonna lie, I did find the opening music and ending music, you know, decent, but I still prefer the OG version. And honestly, I can't find any more words to describe this episode. I was crying tears of joy when I saw it. It was like reuniting with an old friend. So in a nutshell, this series is having a great start, and I can't wait to see more. So yeah, stay tuned for the series review. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Oh, and if you like my work, support the channel at Coffee. There you can help the channel grow and support me in making these videos. And you get to have your names in the credits. And so yeah, stay safe out there, goodbye, and welcome back, Holo. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you.